welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. We're back with another bath time fun experiment. Look, we have bath paints of different colors. We also have markers. We have blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. We have a palette. I actually prepared another palette because I'm not in the bathtub myself. And of course, I have our Paw Patrol Pops from the new The Mighty Movie. Here's my tub filled with water and also I have a cute little stamper as a paw print right here. Cool thing is that we need a palette because we are going to be mixing colors. By mixing different colors together, you can get a new color. For example, red and yellow makes orange, yellow and blue makes green, blue and red makes purple. Let's play more. Red and green makes brown. All right, so first step, we are going to squeeze the paints in our tray. And did I mention that these bath paints smell absolutely delicious? They're very fruity and smell very pleasant. Now, these markers, they don't smell but they look really cool and fun to play with while taking a tub. I don't think I'm going to use any water just yet. I will be using water to rinse my paint, obviously, but let's go ahead and mix some colors right here on my palette. Yellow and blue, mix them together. We are getting green color. There you go, you see? Looks so good. Okay, next I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to mix red and yellow. There you go, rinsing my brush. So far these two color mix experiments came out good. Let's go ahead and mix blue and red so we can get purple color. Okay, so it's turning purple, but it's kind of more like dirty purple. This one did not turn out as good as the previous two. All right, let's put the brush aside. <laughs> Mama Z, it's time to use watermarkers. That's right, Liberty. Look, we have yellow watermarker that matches rubble. And here's green one that matches Rocky. Check this out, Rocky's crystal glows how awesome in order for these markers to work i mean they do work a little bit but they're supposed to be wet so i'm going to water them a little bit and let's test them all right it's really hard to see let me try another color it will be better on the bathtub because bathtub is white. My palette is um, see-through. <laughs> but here's the red one. Actually, it works better when it's not wet, when it's dry. But then you do use water to wash it off from the bathtub. Here's orange. Let's do green one next. Here's green. And we have one more. Let's test the blue one. There we go. I think red one works the best. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you is this paw print. So all you have to do is just dunk the paw into the paint carefully. Try to get as much paint as possible. Okay, so that's what we got. I'm not sure if you're going to see it again, but I'm going to try. Oh wow, actually it turned out to be perfect. Next, I'm gonna try blue. There we go. Well, pink one actually turned out to be better. Well, friends, that's it for the experiment. I do think it's more fun to use these while taking a tub. But I enjoyed testing them for this bathtub time experiment. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!